Okay, this will be an interesting one. Oh, this will be a good one, hopefully. I wonder how big we're going to make this. Going to make it a, a large piece. 400 by... We're going 400. We could have just pressed the 400 button, but we didn't. We're going to make this into something interesting. If we can make it that good. So... We're going to make it a little bit contrasty. We're going to drop some of that. I'm going to drop it further. I don't, I don't know if 400 is the right size, but I went with that anyway. So let's see how we go running at that. And if it's too big, we just make it smaller. So let's see what this original is we're using. It is, it is a little um, booklet or something like a lookbook. For this jewellery shit, we're going to use this. We're going to try and emphasise the two hands holding the jewellery. So we're just going to quickly play with the buttons so we don't lose our settings while we fiddle to get this in the right sort of place. So we've just got to try and see if we can cut off the, the words, the writing. We don't want the writing in the image. And we're just going to move it to the edge like so. So let's see if we can get this off first go. So let's try that. Often it's a bit of guesswork. And it's not easy doing it, showing you this with just one hand and one hand holding the phone. So let's see how this has come out as a 400% job. Wow, that looks that's really nice uh, detail. I think we can run with this. Uh, just wondering where the where the centre of this job is actually going to be. It doesn't look like a good piece for centering, but we'll see how we go. Um, that is interesting. <laughs> so we're just going to. So I'm wondering if we're going to just run with it. It's an interesting, in my opinion, anyway. just like a little bit of detail in, the, in this. So let's see how this works. So we're just going to put it like so, like that. It's going to be hard lining these up. I'm going to have to probably use the side image, the sides of the images, which I don't like using. I prefer to do it on the horizontal, to be honest. So now we're just going to add this in just to make sure we don't get any bad copies because of the, the the original's positioning and the original size, the enlargement size, so we can end up with a bloody piece of shit come out, like the image gets partially cropped and it looks shit ass. So let's see how this goes. Alright, out they come. And they're just going to be added together. So let's see. It's probably not the greatest type of um, mirror image that I could make. Um, it's a little bit too horizontal-ish, if you know what I mean. So let's just line up the end edges of the fingers. So we just line that one up there. And we'll line up this one here. We'll just go close together and just try not to nudge the other pieces out of place so we're just gonna try and do it that way anyway that looks it's not the greatest but I can see the shape of an eye it's really interesting how that often happens so I think now this is worth it I think now we can call it quits 